Hello everyone, welcome back to TJ Lavin's Ultimate BMX. I'm Insetic, with me again is Blank Tester. And I'm Blank Tester. Yeah, so now we are really jumping into the medium versions of the levels. We're going back to the uh, street environment. Yeah. Urban or- insanity. So, now in the medium sets you have five challenges. A points challenge, find the MTV logo again, two level specifics, but now we have to collect some of those sprockets Hmm. that you saw going around. You know, in the easy levels, they were just points adders, but now they are Um, part of a collectible challenge. Okay. And so you could immediately see the part of the level that's open now in the medium version, but, you know, we're going to ride around in this part for a bit, mainly because getting the sprocket challenge is actually pretty easy if you head over here. Hmm. And... No, your eyes did not fool you. Um, Tyrell Roof, I have to give a shout out to him. He commented on my first video telling me some mechanics that I didn't know. Oh. Um, yeah, there's more mechanics. Maybe it's said in the manual. Maybe you just have to figure it out on your own. But if you crash and you mash all the buttons, your character gets up faster. Oh. Ludicrously fast. Yeah. Ludicrous, like, makes no flipping sense. You saw him moving at hyperspeed. Yeah, that was a little weird. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird that the game even put that in there. Uh, that's not a feature that I can think of many PS1 sports games having. I mean, it's kind of, kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. And I guess, like, you know, maybe sometimes I have sat there thinking, oh, I'll get up already. But it's not, like, abysmally long. But still, yeah. I mean, cool. All right. So I mean, you did you did feel that way when playing like Krusty Demons, but that's mostly because right. the game tried to make a mechanic out of crashing, and you right, went, "God, right. please just make this a normal <laughs> game, <laughs> please." I mean, Cr- uh, Krusty Demons is its own can of worms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the the semi truck that was blocking this path is gone now, and so we can ride into kind of the parking lot, that warehouse. If we head over to the left, there's some sprockets on this long half pipe. Oh. And then we could jump up to some shipping containers, and there's kind of a shipping container maze back here. Uh, Jeez. Maybe a little complex. I'm going to say, in these medium levels, this is where I'm going to start saving you guys tens of minutes, maybe even hours. Um... Of just looking around for... Of just looking around, riding around, wondering what to do. That was bizarre. Uh, what did I just see? <laughs> um, Fuzzy decided to just hang out a little. Okay. Yeah, but uh, obviously this isn't my first playthrough and this isn't live comm, so I know where to go. I'm going to edit it so that nothing takes too long. Uh, y- y'all are going to see where to go. You're not going to have to sit there, uh, you know, riding around trying to figure out what you're trying to do. So, you got two goals. Can I just say, this is a small thing, but I kind of, I would prefer if the game didn't have, like, a red X next to the goals that you've completed. It'd be nicer if it had a green check mark or something. Yeah, I guess. Just because, like, I don't know. This one's just, this one, this is kind of just me, but, like... Like, at work, we, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working a cash register, and, like, when you put in a card and it asks you to remove the card, it quacks angrily at you. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, yeah. when it wants you to remove uh, yeah, the I card. Know. And then everybody always asks me, did I do it right? And I'm like, have you not been using cards for, like, a decade now? Like, yes, you did it right. Uh, I mean... That quacking thing is definitely new. The self-checkout machines at the grocery store I use does that, you know. Yeah. Like, quacks at you to remove your card, and, you know, I don't remember that being a thing a few years ago. Um, eh, maybe not. Uh, but yeah. Uh, 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 <laughs> a little weirdness okay. went on at this recording. A little weirdness that kind of caught me off guard. Even you you went into the forever zone. All right, so I'm, I'm going to start talking about something that's going to come up. So... If you can get up onto this upper path here, then you can grind this rail and jump up on top of the building that's nearby. But look at this shit. Off the rail, you go straight. What the fuck are these struts doing that are right in your way? This is a bad game design right here. The rail drops you off on a ramp. If you jump forward, you hit the struts. You can't get on the roof. 
if you jump to the left to avoid the struts, the roof doesn't go all the way over to the wall, so you might fall in between them and fall back down into the level. And if you don't go fast enough, you'll also fall down. And so that little this area just... there is just covered in obstacles, too. That's yeah, really yeah. bad design. This is just a question of what were they thinking? How did they think this played well? Um, yeah. And I think in the medium levels, we can start asking some of those questions. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you need to get up here because the MTV logo is in the big bucket. Oh, great. Like chicken bucket. Actually, it's not in the bucket. You have to jump up out of it. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you should have just made it in the bucket so that you could have some fun up there instead of, like, making you waste your entire time getting to it just so you can leave. What, what's the point yeah. of putting a bowl up there if you're the only thing to go up there for is just out in the, on the exit path? Ugh. That's and, bad design. All right. So then the... Th Last challenge, knock down three, uh, you know, stoplights stop or whatever it was. Yeah. You know, you, you you turn around, you look up at them, you could see all of them, but you don't really know how to get to each one. Yeah. Like, y y you know, so you do have to do a little exploring, or a little blind luck, as we're about to see here. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, you can interact with that. I discovered this completely on accident. That was something that I hit on accident while trying to ride around. Huh. And... That is how you get up to uh, one of the stoplights. So they must have thought, like, e everybody will just bump into it. Yeah, yeah. But when you have... Okay, there was the wood panel in the mall level, but when you haven't had enough level interaction so yeah. far, you're not expecting it. So, yeah, no, I wouldn't have thought... Uh... Anyway, you hit that, and that's how you get that panel. Then to get to another light, you know, you might have noticed... I did notice this on my own. Like, yeah. hey, if I jump up here, I could see shit on the other side. What if I crash through the windows? Of course, in this recording, that was a little harder than I thought it should be. But, yeah. You know. It should have just been like, just like the, the pole back there should have been instantly touched the window. Yeah. All right, right up, and then you can crash through the upper windows. It's not going to happen in this recording, but I kept having a problem where I'd jump over the light. In fact, it should, not, it should not have given me that. Yeah. Like, I was really thankful it gave me that, but, like... Realistically, you went right over it. Again, like, it, it's not set up very well. And then, so the third light, then you have to do kind of a weird jump. Get up here, there's a grind. Um, huh. And... That's a little weird. Yeah, I mean, it's probably the most sensible of the three. The thing is, the grind is a little long, unless you jump in the middle of it while holding forward, you know. And then do one of those... <laughs> One of the mechanics I didn't really talk about is, surprisingly, this game, like, you could change the velocity of grinds while you're doing it. Like, How? if you're grinding, like, you hold forward and jump, your guy will leap forward and have kind of more speed, as you saw. Huh. Uh, actually, if you're grinding forward, you hold back and jump, your guy will slow down and stall when he lands, and if you're stalling, hold back and jump, your guy will jump backwards and be grinding backwards. That's uh, kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, Matt Hoffman 2 did that, and I was really glad it did that. You know, there were a couple times when I just, you know, didn't have the speed grinding a rail to make it to the end or make it to where I wanted to go, and I just had to... Or I, like, tried to grind it, and I just stalled on it, so I was able to, you know, change my direction. I like that. Yeah. But some... Yeah, okay. So some strange moments in this level... Some moments where things were harder than they should be. Um, but, whatever. We made it through. Mm -hmm. We did the challenges. Next time, we're going to the medium version of the vert environment. And we'll see what's there. Right Next on. time on TJ Lavin.